Today we'll be making cream of beef for uh, what's called in military SOS. Uh, uh, it's basically a hamburger. Hamburger. I got a lot of it, so I'm gonna make this dish. And you can make this in a rice pot. Uh, it's just easier to make it in a frying pan. Um, so I'm just gonna take. Uh, since I'm just making this for uh, one person, maybe two meals, I'm just going to take uh, about two-thirds of a pound of hamburger. He's a big guy, so he'll eat a lot, okay? And all I'm going to do is fry this up, and you just break it up. Oh, a little oil. A little oil will help. Um, any kind of oil. Uh, I'm using olive oil. Got it on, uh, got it on, on medium high, seven on a digital, okay, and you just break it apart, you can do this in a pan, but it's a lot easier if you just break it up by hand, because uh, it does get stuck to the pan. And depending if you like the cream will be chunky or uh, or really small pieces, you you just break it up according to. And if you want it smaller, just take a spatula and chop it up in the pan after you break it up. Uh, you want the hamburger to be thoroughly thawed. Uh, if it's frozen, it'll tend to be one solid block, and it's very difficult to cook it that way. Oh, this is a lot. <laughs> Uh, this is a lot, <laughs> but that's okay. He's a big guy. He'll eat it all. And you just want to brown it. Now I'm making this as simple as possible. Uh, you could add a lot of stuff to it, breadcrumbs, uh, your favorite seasonings, you could use uh, uh, your own favorite seasonings, whatever kind of seasoning, kind. any, any, but the basic concept is salt and pepper. You don't really need too much salt because I'm using cream of mushroom and cream of mushroom is pretty much seasoned already. Now there is ways of making the cream of mushroom by scratch. You make a roux with uh, say sausage fat or butter even or some kind of oil but you get more flavor if you use butter or sausage fat and then you make a roux using flour and then you add up your broth. Okay, but we're not going to bother. This is a simpler method. We're not trying to get too fancy. It's mainly targeted to the student or the non cook. Okay, now normally most people take the, the liquid you see that's coming out of here that's got a lot of fat in it, and a lot of people drain that out. But this is a breakfast item, so and you want the calories in there to, to get you to start the day properly. So I, I'm leaving it in because like I said, this is for our son who's a big strapping guy and he needs he needs the calories. Okay. Now if you're not if you don't need it, well strain out the fat. Okay. So got that going. And as you can see the beef is thoroughly cooked. I'm gonna only use half a can because this is all I got. Okay, I can always add some more. But uh, normally I would add a whole can to this, but since I this is enough. You'll see. Okay, now you can use plain water to uh, reduce the thickness of the sauce. Or in the case of my son, he likes he likes it real creamy, so I'm gonna add milk. 
According to the instructions in the can, you can use either milk or water. And you don't have to use cream of uh, cream of mushroom. You can use you can use cream of chicken or cream of broccoli or whatever favorite cream can cream you got. Okay. Or you can, like I said, you can make your own roux. So I'm using milk, and there we go. So as you can see, it turns into a nice creamy sauce. And since the hamburger is cooked already, the 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 uh, soup, the canned soup is already pre-cooked. So that's pretty much it. And you can salt to taste. Add, add a little bit extra pepper for more kick. And well, here in Hawaii, we put this on rice. Uh, but in the mainland, they use, you can use uh, bread or what people prefer is you take biscuits, split them in half, toast them, add a slab of butter on top, and then you pour this over it, okay? And for you army guys, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, but this is one of his favorites, so this is what we got. Cream of beef or chip beef, cream of chip beef on biscuit or toast. 